The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart here of the uh, December Treasury bonds. Uh, you can see the ABCD pattern that is here. Uh, that was uh, completed at uh, 118.03. The low was 118.04. Unfortunately, I had a buy order in at 03, and we didn't get filled, and now it's 20 points higher. So I missed that one. But I did want to show you the fact that we do have that ABCD there. I thought that was important enough to make some distinction because it took 10 days for that pattern to complete. Remember, this is a four-hour chart, so it took quite a bit of action to get to that point. Now, we should – this market is so very oversold. Look where we are from September 1st when we were 121. We dropped three handles all the way down to 118, and now we're starting some type of a rally in here. Folks, and I mentioned on the previous segment when we were talking – about this, why these markets can go down and make a lower low on Friday, like we had in the Dow Jones and the S&P and the NASDAQ and the Russell, and yet the market turns right away. Folks, there are three firms on this on, that are listed out there. There's State Street, Vanguard, and the big one, of course, is BlackRock. BlackRock is bigger than the total market. It has $27 trillion under management. They can do whatever they want, and they know these algorithms, and they know how to play them. So remember, you're playing with a giant force there. So when you see the market rally when you don't think it should be, it can be because they're in there. That doesn't necessarily mean that they are. It means that it could be. They're huge. If you'll remember, back in 1998, there was a very big firm out there called Long-Term Capital. Uh, John Merriweather, he was the darling of Wall Street, never did anything wrong. And yet what happened was they had a position on that they were not able to liquidate. There was nobody on the other side of the trade, and the market went tapioca, firm went bankrupt, had to be rescued by the Federal Reserve Board, none other than Merriweather's good friend, uh, uh, Gerald Greenspan. So anyway, that's why we're uh, – careful with these markets because sometimes things can get awry. I'm just a little guy here in Tucson, Arizona. I know one thing and I know one thing pretty well and that is AB equals CD. That's my thing that I look at. That's what I, that is my, my, my guiding light and that's what I want to be looking for. Now, I'm going to post a chart up here that is really important here today. So, oh dear, I know what I did wrong. I'm sorry, I, I, I can do this a lot easier. Because all I have to do now is to come up here. Uh-oh, what did I do wrong here? I think I can do this correctly. I wanted to bring this up here to show you because this is what we had. I hope this is still in the bailiwick. Uh, can you see my Dow Jones chart, Al? Please tell me that you can. And then we'll be in good shape and I'll be able to show what else I wanted to see. But anyway, that was – I showed one before. That was from the from Tom Hugard's group over in the – the, uh, over in the UK, but I want it. Uh, okay, it's that's the Treasury. That <laughs> it is the Dow Jones making a 382 retracement from the high that we made, you know, on Friday, which was a big high. So that's important that we don't get above that. So that number, uh, we missed the S and P number by seven handles. That number in the S and P should have been at uh, 45.17, we only got to 45.12, uh, or 45.13, so it missed it by four handles. The NASDAQ missed it by 20 handles, so it was only the Dow Jones that made that. So that's why we're watching it so very, very closely. Now, I want to share a couple others here that I, I want to show you an extremely strong market in the face of the most negative news you could possibly get. We're going to get this up here. So we can see it without any trouble. <clears throat> now I believe you can see the FTSE index. Look at this, folks. We got the pound going down below 124, hit 123.60 today, almost the exact number we were looking for. But look at the FTSE. Now the FTSE, those stocks 
are usually foreign stocks that are traded on the FTSE exchange in London. They're not necessarily, well, very few of them are uh, London stocks. They're all foreign stocks, pharmaceutical stocks, chemical stocks, oil stocks, all of those. That's what we're paying attention to. Now today at uh, 1.30, we're going to have Mike Moore on, and I hope he can explain why the energy stocks themselves are so weak, and yet crude oil uh, hit $95 a barrel on Brent crude today. That's a huge, big number. Sold off a tiny bit from that level, but uh, that's what we're that's what we're seeing here uh, so far uh, today. So I, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. But also, you got to remember now when you're when you're dealing with somebody like BlackRock. Larry Fink used to be with the CIA before he became he came into finance, and uh, he has a program. This is his famous program called Aladdin. And that's the same type of program that Conti, Conti Commodity, Commodity Corporation had. And that's why Goldman Sachs bought them in 1995, I believe, uh, for a huge amount of money. And all they wanted, they didn't care about the physical assets there on Mount Lucas Road. They just wanted that program. And that program, folks, I watched it develop over the years because uh, Amos Hostetter started it. Jay Cross worked on it. And basically what it was, it was a volatility breakout system. That's what it was, and they refined it to the point of perfection, and that's why it was worth so very, very much money. What Mr. Uh, Fink has is something far more sophisticated than that. Remember, folks, can you imagine someone managing $27 trillion? Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. I just can't find that hard to believe. The one thing I did hear, and it was maybe only rumor, that on Larry Fink's stationery, He's got a little logo up in the far left-hand corner that says A, B equals C, D. Now, I haven't proven that, but that's what I heard. I doubt if that's the case or not. But remember, Aladdin is the name of that program. One other thing I wanted to mention here is that when they build these batteries for these electronic vehicles, okay, what we're doing here is they have to build a battery, and the biggest part of the battery is made with crude oil because crude oil must make coke, and coke must be used in anon batteries. And so whenever they see a battery, a lot of crude oil goes into that because it has to have coke. The second thing is, is that I couldn't believe when I heard on the news last night, the girl, Trisha Carrie Underwood, who sings the Sunday night football thing for the Sunday night football. Folks, you're not going to believe this. She gets a million dollars every time that song is played. That's 15 times a year for Sunday night football, $15 million, and it's two hours total in 15 days or 15 times. I think that's a little bit overpaid, but if she can get it, more power to her. But $15 million, are you kidding me? Also, the auto workers, they want to get paid twice as much as a registered nurse and twice as much as a registered pharmacist. I think that's a great deal if they can get that done too. And if they can get all those cars sold, that'll even be better. But I just wonder how they're going to keep them all charged up because that's going to be really difficult. And we're going to find out whether that's going to be the case or not. I think we have a break coming up very shortly here. And I wanted to bring up a couple other charts. So stay with us, folks. 877-927-6648. <laughs> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey folks, I posted the chart of the euro, ah, of the gold. I was approaching the 61% retracement. We suggested, if you remember, last week there was a pretty good chance that a gold was probably turning around, mainly due to what was happening with the U.S. dollar, with the euro getting down to near where it was supposed to be. I posted a chart now, 20-minute chart of the euro. You'll remember back on September the 14th, right down in here, this is where we were looking at it, and uh, we had Pedro from Park City on the line and uh, said it was a very low-risk buy around that point. We are now up about 80 handles, a little over $900, and it's starting to move higher. So that's one thing that we want to be taking a look at. Now, I want to take just a moment here. Uh, my, my alert just went off here, and I want to bring something to your attention here, so stay with me here for just a second. I want to get this up here. You'll be able to see it also. Now, this is the chart of ARM, folks. You remember the ET, the uh, thing that came up? Let me turn it off. The beeper is going on. Everybody that bought this, all 13 million shares or whatever it was in here, everybody that bought that now is underwater. It's gone from 69 to 55. That's not a good sign for an ETF, folks. It certainly isn't. You know, if we looked at it just from a standpoint of a 382, if you went from your high, down to your low, there it is right there. There's your 382 right here. Then you make a lower low. You see how this second low was made? Sometimes when you do this and go from your high down to your low, it's going to give you a confirmation. This one misses it by uh, <laughs> misses it by 20 cents. And then, of course, now we're heading down. So this is not a good sign for the people that uh, bought this stuff. So I, I don't know anything about it. It might be the greatest company in the world, but frankly, uh, I just wanted to bring that to your attention that they're now now underwater. 
Okay. All right. Now let's get back to the euro. Okay. This is super important, folks, for several different reasons. First of all, we're going to get it up here on the long term daily. And you can see the low that we made back here back in June on June the 20th, June 30th. We made a low. We made a slightly lower low here. And now we've turned. We, we, we talked about that. And we went through several different things showing you why it was important. One of them, of course, was the weekly. And the weekly was right there, was the 382, right there within 10 pips, folks. That's 10 pips. I don't know what my gosh, it wasn't even 10 pips. It was only 8 pips from the exact 382. And now we're up about 80 handles. Uh, oh, 80 points, not 80 handles from that level. So that's important. That's what pattern recognition is about, folks. It's about finding a spot where you don't have to risk very much. And if you're right, it's going to pay you good dividends. Look at this three drive to a bottom back here when the euro was trading at 94. Nobody wants it. Then it rallied 30 points up to 125 over the next year, uh, not 10 months, and everybody wanted it. So remember, the buyers and the fellers are mostly different fellers, but you've got to decide where you want to buy and how much you're going to risk. And that's what pattern recognition is helpful for. Does it work all the time? Heavens no, but guess what, boys and girls? Nothing else does either, okay? I do one or two things. I got a couple little tools here and there that help figure out where we should be and how we should risk them. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but that's neither here nor there. So we're hopefully we get these things done and we're able to see how they, uh, see how they uh, turn up. What's interesting is the fact that we hit that uh, 382 on the Dow Jones and we've already sold off 70 points from that level. That, that, that in itself was sort of a big surprise. But that might be just a temporary phenomenon. So let's keep our minds going on and what we have here. Now, let's take a quick look here at the British pound. We want to look at that one also because there's another one that is really, really close. We've been there before. You can see we've bounced off the bottom here a little bit. But what we want to do is we want to look at the long-term picture just like we did with the euro. Now, you see... The 382, we've already threw that. The only thing we have here is we have the 61% retracement. But I want you to see here on a weekly basis, we've made a lower low today. So if we look at this on a shorter time frame, you're going to see here that we did make a, a lower low. There's the lower low right here. That, that was lower than that low. No question about it. Okay, that was the low we were watching. Now, if you remember from when we were on the show uh, just uh, on a Friday, we measured from your A, B leg here down to your C, D leg right here. And look where it came to, folks, the exact amundo number. And from that level, we had a very nice rally, probably went up to the 50% of the previous move. That's exactly what it did. And we came down, tested it, and now we're still here. This is far from out of the woods, folks. But at least that it did complete this number that we were looking for. And now it's rallied just a little bit. This rally here has been uh, only about uh, 339.70. It's only been a few hundred dollars, so it's nothing really dramatic yet in the British pound. That doesn't mean that it can't, but you can see what's happening. What's really amazing, in fact, that the pound going straight down like this when the FTSE was going straight up, that in itself is a really big surprise because people that buy that stuff has to have to buy it in British pounds, and you would think that would make the pound stronger, but in fact, that hasn't happened. So whether that means much or not, I don't know. But those are things that are beyond my pay grade, boys and girls. So I don't worry about them one iota. Okay, now here was one that we talked about. I, I know we did because uh, we did this. This is one of our better ones here today. This is the uh, soybean oil. If you remember, we were watching this uh, soybean oil. Uh, but let's do the hourly because it was so much easier to see. There was the three drive pattern that we were looking for. Uh, right here, just beautiful. There's one, two, three, lined up right at the 61% retracement. Uh, it made a beautiful, just blow this up a little bit so you'll be able to see the lovely one, three, five pattern. There's the one, the three, and the five. Stopped in this morning just in time to get the uh, old orders in right there at the 50% level and uh, made a little ABCD pattern right here and then had a big move down worth about uh, $600. So, that's what we were watching here in the soybean oil. The soybeans, as a matter of fact, were far, far uh, more uh, bearish. They dropped uh, well over $1,000 in the beans. I don't think I have that lined up anymore because I 
I took it off the uh, I took it off the bag here, but doggone, I don't know what I did with it. Nah, it's not too much not too much importance any, so we'll not not worry too much about it here. Okay, let's move on here uh, to the next one that we wanted to take a look at here. Um, oh, I want to give you the NASDAQ 382 here because we haven't quite made it yet in the NASDAQ, but we are close. We're not very far away. You'll see here, uh, there's the NASDAQ at uh, 15,478. We're 28 points away from that right now. But we have completed the ABCD pattern in the NASDAQ. You'll see, uh oh, sorry, we have not completed. So that comes in at. Uh, 15,475. So I'm watching that one closely. That's 25 points in the Nasdaq. That can be a um, that can be a, a, a baby sneeze because that is really not very much. But the fact that we're up so much above the opening now tells us that we got to still have a pretty good chance of uh, getting it to that point. So these are a few things that we're watching here this morning. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Remember, our our guest today will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and he'll be up next break so stay with us please Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, folks, we have Mike Moore in the house today. Mike, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Larry? Pretty good, Mike. We have a question from one of our listeners happens to be heavily involved in the uh, energy stocks. And this question is, how can energy stocks be going down when crude oil is going straight up? Do you have an answer for that? <laughs> no, I don't have a good one for you. Sorry. No, neither do I, so we're tied. <laughs> I think it's a sign I, uh, of weakness, but what do I know? I study stri strictly price action. All right, let's go ahead and tell us what you're looking at. Pre specifically, I'd like to talk about four things, crude oil, gasoline, heating oil, and natural gas. Those are the main ones, and then we'll get to the S&P gold mm -hmm. later, okay? All right, let's take a look at the, the uh, crude oil first then. Currently, it's bearish on the day, so I expect it will probably come off for the rest of the day, but we've been bullish, um, obviously, coming into today. Mm -hmm. um, overall, we've been bullish since April of 2020 <laughs> from $15.37. But anyway, more recently, the break above 65.31 warned a decent strength. We'd seen $25.84 out of that, and then another piece of that this morning. Um we broke broken above a formation here and fell back down through it. So this is bearish the rest of the day. If we take out this lower formation, that'll also be bearish. That's going to come in at uh, 89.47. Mm -hmm. 47 plus 2.7 ticks per hour as of 1 o'clock p.m. It's not a major formation, but uh, a decent break below there we should also project it downward. Uh, I want to bring you back, though, I think in the last show, we talked about the importance of uh, looking at this move in Brent. Mm -hmm. If you may recall, and I said that the reason being is it had a large projection in there from 82.33. Uh, I'd suggested it, it projected this upward $13.90. That's been pared back down to $12.40 as that line has moved over the past number of weeks. And uh, we attained, finally we attained 1245, which is a fulfillment of that in the Brent. Um, let me just pull that up. And uh, another piece even of that this morning. Now the Brent here is looking at failing below this formation right here. It's just starting to break, but it hasn't had a decent break below there yet. But if we break below that, and that's a pretty substantial long-term formation, not long-term, but longer-term formation, um, it should continue to come off. That comes in, comes in at 94.08 as of 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time and um, moves up uh, about three ticks per hour. So that could start a good cascade. And the other uh, thing to note is on an overall basis, I'm going to bring this on a higher level. This is like a daily chart. This is like this is in the last stretch of that structure upward. So um, if we do see a bearish correction, it'll probably exceed $7.70 from whatever the high is. That's a substantial amount. Yeah. You know, we're, it's, it's a great time to trade energies. You know, the liquidity is good. The volatility is good. It's directional trading. It's not too choppy. So um, if you have any complaints about it in these arenas, <laughs> you know, there's a lot, uh, a lot more difficult times to trade the crude. Do you have any questions on crude before I move to anything no, else? No, can, can you do WTI also because besides the Brent? No, I did. Most... Well, that's the WTI I was looking at first. Oh, okay, good. All right, that's yeah. fine. Okay, then then I just, I I flipped, I'm sorry, I should have made it clear. I, I flipped from this, which is the WTI, back over to the Brent to just show you that we detained that $12.40. Um, I noticed that we just hit $89. Now, it has to go below 89 for it to be a short-term top? Um, I'm bearish right here right now just because it fell back down through this line. If it breaks down through this next line, that would be more uh, additionally bearish. I don't have any major formations up here necessarily. There's just a lot of steep line formations, I think, that before this really comes off hard, it would probably have to come off, drift sideways, chop around a bit, and build more of a, more of a substantial top somewhere before really – Mm -hmm. heading into a bearish trend if it's going to do that. Otherwise, we may see a bearish correction of a substantial nature before starting a whole new bull structure. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to take a look at the R-bomb in the heat or go straight oh, to the Oh, absolutely. Show? Yes, we certainly have okay. strong interest there. 
Okay, so the R Bob, which is another word for unleaded gasoline, um, that well, first of all, the R Bob and the heat on Friday rolled over and turned bearish. So the the crude oil is really following suit, and the R Bob held this main exhaustion area. I think we were talking about this on the last show uh, up here at 277.30. We held that with a 277.03 high, and uh, we've rolled over. Let me just pull that back up here. Yeah, I say we held this uh, 277.30 to 91 exhaustion with the 277.03 high and rolled over 8.67 8 cents. And I, this is what I noted. Okay. Oh, I found this on the for yes, Man. How do you say to 77? Get out of Wait a second here. I got to turn, <laughs> uh, turn off my phone. Sorry about that, folks. It happens to me all the time, Mike, not to worry. My word. I could say a funny joke about that, but I'm going to keep it clean here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, I'd said on the, the analysis on Friday that uh, I warned Friday could be the beginning of a multi-day sell-off and the trade black back below 270.49 to 69.59 will warn of an entry into a bearish correction. So I think today we're just seeing the second day of this. I think it's going to continue to come off. This is a pretty substantial formation coming in right here. Even though we don't have one accrued, I would definitely be paying attention to this. And uh, I already stated that on this move down, you would rather be short the RBOB or the heat instead of the crude because they will likely pay you far more money per lot than the crude will. Um, and this line right here comes in at 265.67. 265.67 plus four ticks per hour. And decent break below that, it's going to project this downward at least 13, 14 cents, which would be the equivalent of around seven crude dollars. Mm -hmm. This formation down here is a very substantial formation. So that'll take a couple more days to get down there probably, but that currently comes in at 253.92 and increases one tick per hour as of one o'clock p.m. You take That's that formation out, uh, we're looking for you know, at least 25 cents to the downside, which could be well, like that's a, a... That's a heck of a big move, Mike. Yeah, it could be a 10 to $12 crude move, um, equivalent to a 10 to $12 crude move. So we'll have to see. We're a ways away from that right now. But these were the first things. We held major exhaustion here, which means this is exhaustion for the overall move to the upside. So we've held that. Fell back down to these old highs, took out this bearish formation. We have two formations right here. If we take those out, this will probably dump down into here. And if we take this out, <clears throat> it'll probably get uglier on the downside. Boy, and the heating oil sure. <clears throat> also turned bearish Friday. Hey, Mike, we got we to gotta pay a few bills. Could you stay with yeah. us and we'll come back and talk about heating oil? Yes, sir. We'll be right back, folks, with Mike Moore, more yeah. analytics. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and we were discussing heating oil. Please continue, my friend. How are you, Larry? Thank you very much. Can you see my screen? Coming in perfectly. You betcha. Okay. So heating oil, we also turned bearish yesterday. I said the failure back below. Um, actually, let me just back up a little bit. We were bullish for a long ride up here. I said the break above 230.05 warned a decent strength. We'd seen over a dollar of that to the upside, which is a massive move in the heat. And I have a bunch of other moves in here that we called on the way up. But put all those are on hold. Currently, the failure back below 341.62. Now we're into decent pressure, likely for days. We had seen 8.02 cents of that so far um, going into today. That was the failure back down below this line right here. And then we were obviously seeing a lot more. We fell below another line here, testing short-term exhaustion levels. But really, if we settle back down below this, uh, 329.66. That's going to be bearish. Warn of the entry, a further entry into a bearish um, correction. If this was to come off, I'd expect probably somewhere down in here, maybe we'd see a big bounce and consolidation sideways, and then maybe build a larger topping formation. We'll have to see. But currently, now, this looks like this run up may be over for the time being. I have a question, Mike. That means yeah. that the heat, heating oil or gasoline is leading us down. Which which of the two is the is the weaker? Okay, so we go right here. I turned bearish in the heating in the heating oil crack. Right, we left a minor bearish reversal above right here with this maintain gap lower. Mm -hmm. So if you can see here, I don't know if you can read this or not, but I said all the bull calls are on hold. I said we held exhaustion at 5652 to 74 with the 5705 high and it rolled over into a bearish correction or trend i warned it would exceed 601 ticks from the high we have seen i forgot to write that in there um and then friday i said we left a minor bearish reversal above as well mm -hmm. so seeing that on a, on a lower time frame um right here we had rallied up held this exhaustion here and now we're uh, down into the we're we're considerably lower than the 600 points, aren't we? Yes, sir. We've uh, seen um, 1,034. Whew, that's a so, big move. And that just goes to show you, I mean, if you're not paying attention to what these cracks are doing or what the heat's doing, I mean, it's you're just left way behind. If you were short the crude as opposed to the heat, 
Oh yeah, you know, they, this, they this barbecued seat, you. Yeah, I mean the seat has paid you, you know, eighty five hundred dollars per lot more, and mm-hmm. so we already knew Friday that we were bearish the heat over the crude. Excuse me, let mm-hmm. me re say that. Friday already told us that the heat was weak relative to the crude or the crude strong relative to the heat. But we also know that the heating oil itself, the outright, broke below a bearish formation. So question is, and the unleaded did also. So you look at the heat crack, the heat crack was bearish. You look at the Arbob crack, the Arbob crack also turned bearish on Friday right here. You can see that in the analysis I put all the bull uh, things on the hold. I said the failure below 2592. More to decent pressure. We came off 279 ticks, and we've come off far more than that now. So then the question is, which one of those do we want to be bearish? And I had said that, I think on the last show when we were talking last time, we broke back above this line right here. I said this would be bullish, which means that the RBOB is strong relative to the heat or the heat weak relative to the, to the RBOB. So let me just slow that down for everybody. So we know, number one, that the heat is weak relative to the crude. We know, number two, that the RBOB is weak relative to the crude. And now we know that the heat is weak relative to the RBOB. That means you want to be short the heat as mm-hmm. opposed to the RBOB of the crude. Or, in other words, it'll probably pay off far better on the downside uh, yeah. than the other two. And you can see just here yeah. financially, uh, if you were short the heat rather than the RBOB, that's a difference of $4,700 per contract as well. Wow, that's very good. So that, while we're looking at this, this is just about to test above this major formation right here. And I said a break above that. We'll project this upward 1,800 ticks plus. So that would be uh, a sizable move. That would be the equivalent of like a $7 crude move to the upside. So wow, big major diff- financial difference between the RBOB and the heat. Any other questions before I go to natural gas? No, that that's worth the price of admission right there. That was really a great uh, description. Thank you very much. Sure thing. So natural gas been chopping around a little bit. Uh, we had rallied up into here into this structure. We took out this bullish formation. Uh, but I said that even though I was, it was bullish breaking above it, that there was an immediate exhaustion level right here. But I would get short on the break back below. We held the exhaustion actually perfectly. The exhaustion was at 282.30. We had a 282.30 high, fell back below this formation, and then saw it dump. Now we're reapproaching the formation. So let me come back and give you some context from the analysis. Mm-hmm. I had said we held exhaustion at 281.40, 282.30 with a 282.30 high and rolled over 223 ticks. And then the trade below 276.40. Uh, also brought in pressure to the tune of 164 ticks. So I said we're likely in a bearish correction or trend against the move up in 250 even, with possible exhaustion to contend with down below. Uh, decent trade. Oh, there is a major formation down here. You take that out, that's going to project this down significantly. That comes in at 251 to 249.50. But right now we're reapproaching this line right here, and if we break above that one decently, that's going to – uh, negate the bearishness, take the bullishness from the other calls off of hold, and that'll project this higher. That came in at 274.70 this morning, but right now it comes in at 274.60. It just moves down very slightly, only 0.3 of a tick per hour. And just on an very overall good. basis, Thanks. I'd also keep in mind, um, if you're looking at natural gas you know we had this mm-hmm. big move down we've just been consolidating sideways consolidating sideways so we may see more choppiness but at some point this is probably going to build a base and then the launch out of that base could could have a, a sustained move mm-hmm. any more on the energies before i look at no that's good let's let's go to the let's go to the gold if we could okay and then we'll do the s p that would be that would be okay. it for today okay. Gold that turned bullish on Friday. Keep this out of here. I did too. Okay, Friday we left a minor bullish reversal below and the settlement above 1939.50 to 1940.30. I said it also wanted decent strength. Sorry. And um, so, which we saw, that was this area right here. We got above there, really saw that. 
Now we're breaking above this formation, which I said was bullish also. I said decent trade above 1979.80 minus uh, 0.8 of a tick per hour starting at 6 a.m. will warn of continued strength, as will the other two lines above. So you have this line we're breaking above. If we break above this one, it'll be bullish also, and this one would also be bullish. And just to give you some context, these are lines that come down from the very highs of the move up mm -hmm. uh, in the month. So now if we break above either of these upper lines decently and back down through them decently, then that would return this to bearish. Those lines mm -hmm. are going to come in at. Okay, Mike, we've got to we got to run now, so we'll have you on again next week. Okay, so stay tuned and be with us next week. Thank you, sir. You got it, buddy. Thank you very much, Mike Moore. More analytics, Appreciate folks. We'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, what I've done here is I posted a chart here of crude oil. Going back to our old faithful, Mr. ABCD, as you can see here. We've completed the larger ABCD pattern in here. There's also an ABCD pattern right here. And what's also interesting, if you go from your low or from your high down to your low, it takes you to your 1.618 expansion that came in at 91.37. And the high in crude oil was 91.36. So we can say that that was a tremendous failure 
in the ABCD pattern of crude oil because it missed it by $10 before dropping 1300 1100 Well, one time it works, one time it doesn't. As you can see, there's your first 3A2 pattern right here at 91, 90, 96. Then we broke all the way down to 89, 88, which is the 127 of this whole move. Okay, so now the key to watch is all you do, you clear all this out, and you go down to the high, up to your low. So this should be a very important 3A2 retracement right here at 90, 46. That would be something that I would be uh, interested in looking at, especially if it would do it in the way we like to see it do it is with a nice little this type of pattern here maybe taking about uh, it's a 15 minute chart maybe taking a whole hour or so to do something like that that would be an ideal because Gartley said in his book sell the first a b c d retracement in a bear market and buy the first a b c d pattern in a bull market so what we're watching here there is a potential for a bear market however if we go up and make new highs all this is for naught, and we'll have to go back to using moving averages, oscillators, and MACDs, and all the extra things that uh, you can use to make your start your charts look beautiful and colorful. That's the bad part about ABCD. They're not beautiful and colorful, but what they do do is they do work some of the time. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you soon.